So I'm kind of curious how much fuel I got left in the bin. Back in fall I had a truckload of sunflowers brought in and augered it in there. And it fills the bin like to maybe three quarters full. So we're uh, well into February now. I want to, you know, keep an eye on that uh, not running too low or whatever. But anyways, that heating system that I got in the building there, it heats my workshop and the house. And of course the building that is there stays warm too. The boiler's in it. We usually park a vehicle in there. Smoking a bit now, but I'll show it to you when it's running. So we'll have a look at the fire. You can hear it running now. I'm just going to turn my fan on here. It takes the smoke out. So that's all sunflowers burning there in the boiler. It actually works pretty good. I've been doing this for like 18 years. So I got a little opening on the side of the bin here. I can actually take some out of there and I'll show you what's in what I got in the bin here. So these are sunflowers that have gone through the milling process. I get what's left over, they extract the insides and make whatever they make out of that and uh, this is the waste so I bring it in by the truckload and uh, and heat the buildings with this stuff. So like I was saying before when I bring a truckload in it fills that bin about three quarters of the way full and then it's kind of shaped you know when it's all filled in there it's about you know it kind of has a cone shape on the top like the pile inside and like three quarter full and there's a seam on the side of the bin there and I'm going to use that as a reference when I look inside. Now what you're going to see is the the cone shape will be gone and it will be a reverse cone shape and it's slowly emptying out like an hourglass you know. So anyways I'm going to wear the brain cam today see and then uh, you guys get to uh, climb along with me and we're going to look in there and see what we find. So 18 years of doing this and this ladder is not getting any shorter. I've sometimes thought of putting a camera up in the bin on the inside so that I wouldn't have to climb all the way up all the time just to see how much fuel I got left but if I did that then the lens would probably get dirty with dust and stuff and I'd have to climb up here and and uh, look inside anyways. Well, that doesn't look too bad. Kind of a, see that, looks like kind of a tower thing happening there. Must have been a bit wetter there, that part of the load. But you can see the uh, seam on the side of the bin like I was telling you before. That's the halfway point and it's created a reverse cone now so it looks kind of empty but there's actually still quite a bit in there I'm gonna just kick on this top of the bin here just for fun and see if we can knock some of that stuff down well I got fuel for a while anyway so I just wanted to have a look inside. 